Welcome back to another Trucker Tim video. I was in the army once. Was you? See the tank stays have gone. Progress. Disappeared now, disappeared. I think Mark's just making up the brackets for the A-frame. Is that right, Mark? Yeah. Oh, business. Business calls. Battery tray's not too bad, actually, is it? Oh! Oh, no! No, I've just put a hole in the battery box. Cover that back up. Have you heard the news about the cab? That centre section's a different colour. Someone's missed the it's pin. That's it. No one's missed the pin. This has been on his side. I don't want to recab it, because that's just ridiculous. We're just going to have to, how do we put it? Mask the issue. Do adjustments on the old plastics here and there. It's only got to come to there, look. That's that it. is all you need, and that just masks it. And no one will ever know. We'll be fine. Apart from yeah. the 200,000 from... people that watch <laughs> the video. <laughs> is the lorry got a name yet? Belinda. The stickers are soon worn yeah, off the old time, off, isn't yeah. they? Anyone would have thought it's been up the road. So you do that. Perfect. Oh, new trousers, oh. look. Oh. Where'd you buy our new trousers from? Rights Tools. How many times have you had to refer to the drawings? Oh, a couple of times. A couple of times, yeah. had to come back and look. It's such a good drawing as well, it's detailed, isn't it? You're gonna do like a front end drawing of it, or just a, a back end? Just that, that's it. Just side. Just that. Just side. side. Just yeah. side, I only do sides. The old mag drills out, look at that beast. Ooh. Now and stuck that is now. Solid. You... <sighs> you can't move that. <laughs> Burpee. <laughs> and then where'd you get this from, Mark? Rights tools. Rights tools. Rights tools. Good old people. Rights tools. tools. Went to see him in the last video to get a DA machine. I've got an idea. A fine strength extractor. A festal sandy. Look at that, I want one. Like a factory piece, Mark. It's now it all lines up. I won't get that oh. Tricks of the trade. Strength of that gun. Where you get that gun from, Mark? Right tools. Right tools. He's always got the right tool for the job. Josh, are you nicking my diesel? No. You're gonna put that in your van, are you? No. It's going. No, no, it's going in the other tank. What tank? Another tank. Another tank. Yeah, Your tank. tank? No. So I've made a decision about this tank. Going on the Volvo build. Look what I got in here, Josh. What you got? Ooh. New They're year nice, bolts. isn't they? They're not a bison. Are they bison? What do you think, Mark? That's a better looking tank, isn't it? That is. Got muscles like Brussels. Thank you. Can't fit through your door, mate. <laughs> oh, uh... mm. Mm. Oh. She's white. Yeah, it's fairly really wide, isn't it? There you go, mate. Oh, look, these have come on. Put your tops on now. So that's what the A frame's going to bolt to that. That's it, yeah. It's definitely had a new panel here, isn't it? So I think, Mark, that go up to that here with the A-frame. I don't want it to be ridiculously high. So we go, that's a straight line, by the way. Don't follow this, do you? So up like this, and sort of come down there. Like, then we'll go up. Oh, good quality sticker. Hang on a minute. It's been sprayed round the sticker. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's been masked. <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, guess I could say. Oh, ouch. Oh, oh, oh. oh. We get a V8 engine in a Volvo. And your V8 engined Volvo, Volvo FH. Yeah. Volvo FH V8. Ooh, yeah. Did you do it, Mark? Yeah, Mark said he can do anything. Yeah, can do anything. anything, yeah. Volvo 72 Scania Into the hole. tank. Careful, careful. Yeah, I'm being careful, Josh. Oh, have I just broke that? Can you just break that off? I think just... Yeah. yeah. Snap the bung off. Test to say. You can't leave it there I now. will just go. Thank you for that. Cheers. Get off, Black Smoke, boys! They're on 
our way now to Simon Rutherford's yard. He's got some amazing washdown ramps. You wait till you see these. You can get the unit and trailer up on these ramps and wash all underneath. And we'll just have to see how we get on with the splitter because I think they're quite a steep. Woo! So anybody can come and use these ramps. I think it's about 60 pound an hour. Look at these bad boys. He's even got some wood down ready for me. down and have a look see how dirty it is underneath oh quite handy if you've got a bit of an issue you want a quick look underneath as well see your exhaust look at that get under your trailer as well give this a good jet wash how cool does that look up there guys Let's take a look, see what it looks like. Wow, that has done an awesome job. Yeah, that's good, really good. It's all washed underneath and it started again. Any faults? No faults. I'm just worried about that high pressure water going around all my electrics. I might get a fault, but I haven't, no faults. I've now got to back off. That's all you can see. I think we're off. Ooh, that's nerve wracking. He was actually washing the whole thing for me. I didn't expect him to do it for me. But he said, no, Tim, I appreciate you doing this video. To try and get a few more people down using these awesome ramps. I'll put a link in the description where you can find all the details you need to use these ramps. You can wash the outside here as well. Do all underneath, show prep, MOT prep, anything. They're all here, ready to be used. Look at the trailer now, she's red again. I think I've just found a new home for the trailer as well. I think I'm gonna leave it here and that clears up some space in Sean's yard and I haven't got to take it back in all the mud. Let's drop the trailer off over there. That's where that's gonna live now. Now it's all been washed down. Let's have a little look at the results. Under the flap. Look at this, look at the exhaust. It's shiny again. And the underglow is brighter as well because it's been washed properly. Perfect for MOT prep, show prep. And even if you just wanna have a look underneath your truck, Let's check something out mechanically, like your exhaust door. An awesome job, all up in there as well. I'm now going to take this straight back to the unit, put it inside. This is the new home for the trailer. The trailer is staying here. You can get in and out your truck safely with these stairs here with two handrails. And yeah, it's perfect. Look at it. Awesome. Really nice to have local to me as well. So there's the truck all washed back in the unit. I can't show you too much of the 4 Series behind because I'm currently in the process of filming a 4 Series build video. Yes, yeah, stuff is happening. That video is coming out on Friday. If you want to see that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss it. Sean's out here in a Force One truck, come to pick me up. I need to let him know that the trailer is no longer living at his. I've upset him quite a lot lately. I'm away for one weekend and I come back and I've got all this 4 Series rubbish here. Thanks for picking me up, Sean. A little question for you. Yeah. You know when you left mine to wash the lorry? Yeah. And the trailer? Yeah. We didn't come back with the trailer. I saw someone at Rutherford's yard. Why put yeah. that there? Why left it there for then? Well, I just thought, you know, it's, I just get fed up with all the mud in the yard. Oh. It's always busy in there and you can't get it, so I thought I'd put it down there. Oh. What if I want to use it though? You, you, you need to give me plenty of notice. No. Oh, for God's sake. You, just you can't just pick it up. No, I'll just go and buy my own. Well, don't be like that. No, I'll just go and buy my own, it'll be easier. You don't need to be like that. Everyone always says you can't share nothing. I'll get my own. That's it. Bad enough. You might be able to see it over there. Look, there's his yard, his ramps. You might be able to see it. Looks don't care, really. Right. Just not interested, Tim. So I've upset you a bit lately, have not? You have, really, to be fair. I can see this friendship coming to an end, Tim. <gasps> oh, no. Don't say that, I won't have any followers on YouTube because <laughs> they're all here for you. <coughs> I don't think they? so. I, I think they think are. So. Can we go and do some sucking and blowing? 
I'd rather not. It sucks an excavator, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard these when they run up. Yeah, I have, yeah. I've done a video on them. Oh, no! It's going to put it on the floor and it's going to... Yeah, I played with it in the yard out the back there. Yeah. It was all in hard bit and I put it on the floor and it went... I wouldn't mind if he didn't do that at the moment, though, because the prop shaft of my 4 Series is in there and you might suck that up. You go... <laughs> into the you back. hear it in the back. <laughs> yeah, also, I wouldn't mind if he didn't do that no. now. You've had a bit of a stressful day today, haven't you, Sean? You've come out with me, camera on, look. How do you feel now? I feel loads better. You see? It's been one of them days, Tim. You don't realise the stress. What is she doing? <laughs> Why? What is he doing? Miserable now because we're back here and no yeah. doubt there's going to be some bad news. I've been gone, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> 20 minutes to pick me up. Just don't know. I can't cope, Tim. Let's go and do a good winch out. That's what we need. It's silly season now. We will get a winch out, a big one. Oh, oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Gift. Look, it's in the scanner box. It's coming from the Isle of Wight from Terry. Oh, well done, Terry. Tim, thought, Tim, thought you might be able to use the enclosed a genuine Scania washer pump. I think it fits oh. a four series. Really? really enjoy watching your videos. Best wishes from Terry. He didn't read that with a pen. Is it? He's used a quill. Mm. That looks like some medieval writing, mm. that does. It's neat, isn't it? It's very neat. A genuine Scania washer bottle pump thing. Oh. I'll tell you what. Series. Are we ready for that yet, Sean? Not quite. Can we put the winch on the trailer? No, because trailer's not here, mate, is it? <laughs> oh. You rejoin me at IDWRC Customs for a little update on the R Series. I don't know if you remember when I was here before, I mentioned about a T cab. Well, since that video, I've decided that I'm going to buy it. Not a real one. I do want a real one. So this one is being made up for me. It has just had the chassis painted. And in the oven is the catwalk that has just been painted and had the tops took off. So that is going on the T-cab. I own a T-cab, not a real one, but we do have a, a radio controlled one. So this hopefully is gonna be ready for Christmas with my R series. I'll show you that in a second. It's just behind the camera. Work has come on so much since we last visited. Also, I've decided we need a trailer. Don't tell Mr. Strucker. We can either put this on the back of the T-cab, put the R-series on this, or put the R-series on this, and put the T-cab on this, either or. And before I show you the R-series, my box is here. IDWRC Customs, it's all in the detail. And if you look on the back, Trucker Tim, check that out. How cool is that? Also having a white box made up for the T-cab. So with regards to the T-cab, it's just literally gonna be like this. Plain white. You can see there's a good lineup of trucks here coming through the production line, but here is the R series. Got the splitter on. That's not its actual position. We're going to move that forward a little bit. It's just a mock up for me today to have a look at and see how progress is coming on. Side exit there. The side bars are going to come out a little bit. They won't sit so far in. We'll get the steer arm in here as well. The V8 on the rear infill. Basically, it's exactly like my truck. I'm going to have Trucker Tim on the beefy flap. He's even done the hydraulic fittings as well. Look at them. Got my laser lights on the top bar now. The visor is exactly the same. Yeah. <gasps> Let that go. Oh, it's fell through. Look, it's underneath. We've got the super singles on the front and the spats as well. Fifth wheel cover is here. So excited to see some paint going on this. Got the beacons on the roof. I need to give a massive shout out to Jack. I've just signed this miniature tang hat for him. Look at that, we just had a little FaceTime as well. He's got an RC truck and he's gonna put it on his dash like that. Something else I've got to show you. How cool is this? Look at that, a V8 engine, 3D printed. So that's not actually going in my lorry, it's going in someone else's lorry, but I want one of these made up. I wanted to put it on display in my office at the unit, get it all painted up like original colors. Probably put it in a little display case like this with a little plinth underneath. How cool would that be? I really like that. We come over to the T-cab chassis. Look at the reflection. You can even see the U-bolt on the springs. Look, cross members. Look at the shine on it. Whew. Got the grill here, the cab over here. This is all the interior. Got the seats. This is all ready for paint now. The bonnet. Check that out. The detail is unreal. Got the rear A-frame here. That actually weighs something as well. It's made of metal. Bumper there. Arches all ready to go into the oven for paint to the top bit. So that goes like that. Sits perfect. Look. 
How cool is this gonna look? It's gonna be a good Christmas, guys. It's gonna be a good Christmas. And also, Ian has made me this to put up in the unit. This awesome banner. IDWRC Customs, it's all in the detail. Custom builds, aftermarket parts, specialists in replica builds. That is gonna look awesome in the unit. We'll get that up later in the video. And also as well, before we head off, Ian has been lucky enough to get a hold of BM Transport's model lorry here. Look at that. I didn't make many of these. It's very hard to get hold of. Sold out literally straight away. But there's one sitting right there. How cool does that look? I need to get on that myself. I need to get a techno model made up of my truck for you guys to buy. Maybe next year. So you rejoin me at the unit. And look who's here. Hello! Ryan is back on the channel. What are you doing, Ryan? I am taking pictures of your merchandise for oh. you because they need upgrading, you see. Just need to be a little bit more, you know. Ready? Do you have any social media links I can put in the description of this video? I do indeed, actually, yes. Oh, do you have a card? Very so much. You, you can keep hold of that. Okay. Do you have any stickers for my door? No, I should probably get some, shouldn't I? Well, you probably should, yeah. yeah. But that doesn't, it's not telling anybody. Right, I need to make it a bit bigger. Yeah, you need to okay. make it better. To make it better, okay? So it's greeny96 productions. underscore productions. I'll put a link in the description. Or links. My Instagram, Your Insta Facebook, it's mainly Instagram and Facebook now. Okay, so. no worries. Okay. How much is this costing me an hour, by the way? I don't really... I don't know. I'm always getting invoices from people, I notice these days. <laughs> Lots of invoices inbound. I've got you in my phone as Ryan Cameraman. And one day... You can employ me! <laughs> I can employ you as official cameraman. But after this, there's something we need to do. We need to go truck shopping. So make sure... Another one! You're joking. Not another one? <laughs> no, not another one. It's too much. It's not what you might think. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications. Like this video as well if you're enjoying it to find out what it is. It's not going to be on the next video because the next video is a four series build video. <laughs> All these quality items are available in the merch store. There's a link in the description. What are you doing? Carpentry. I mean, you could have used something a bit better than using a tack. Yep, perfect. Beautiful, right? Perfect. It's good there. Happy with that. It's the first time you've seen the 4 Series, right, isn't it? It is, um, yeah. What do you think? It look, looks good. It's nice and clean, actually. Um, it's in good condition. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a mess. What do you mean? It's all labelled. With cable tie. Labelled. Green cable tie. It's a green cable tie. Right, but what about these green cable ties? Two green. It's a two ah. green. You're two green. Oh. Does that go on that two green or that two green? Problems. Oh. Problems. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't change, it doesn't change it, does it? Oh. You might need to uh, fix that. Hmm. There's a trip hazard up here, isn't it? Oh. oh. Cab tilt pipes. Could do a new one of them. You could do a new one of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see, just a little bit more of a pullback of the sheath has revealed. Oh. Ah. Uh-oh. Can't have that, so that's got to be rewired or I need to find a new one. Hmm. Where did I find a new one, I wonder? I wonder. That's a piece. <laughs> that is a piece. <laughs> Look at that. What's it from? from? From a Scandi 4 series. Yeah, but what part? What does it do? A trailer, modulator valves. Ah. Uh-huh. I've unplugged it, but I haven't put a cable tie on well, it. How are you going to know where it's from? I don't know. <laughs> oh! What car do you own? I own a Hyundai. Oh! Oh! Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Does it sound like a Scania V8? Well, let's find out. Oh! <laughs>
Oh God. Yeah, exactly. They're all linked to the whole thing. So if mine goes off, everyone's is gonna go off. How are we gonna stop it? Look at it link. I know, look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wanna be breathing it in. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.